the stories we are gathers together the artwork and stories of the participants from various groups here at the Village Storytelling Center and creatively explores the theme of identity through visual language, physical language and spoken language. I work for Wheatley Care. It's my job to do for meaningful activities for, um, for all the people that I actually support whether that be um, as a group or an individual. We've got people who have got learning disability and various other challenges. And we've also got neurodiverse um, individuals. People from 30 right up to 80. So it's a quite, a, quite a diverse group. We gathered participants' memories and dreams and then blending magic and realism created fictional stories that represent who they are, their values and what's important to them. With this group we explore storytelling and also different themes related to identity like the jobs that they used to have, places that they used to live and from that some of them recorded some stories and also did some objects from clay that were presented in those stories. And the nurse sat me on the chair, what they called a smoker's chair. I said right sit back and you can hold your wee brother and it was only hours old at the time. Working with the participants of um, Voices of Peace has been um, an enriching experience. Each session brought forth a tapestry of uh, stories, experiences and emotions from individuals coming from different corners of the uh, world. So the idea was to uh, create stories their own childhood or childhood memories and experiences or stories of their children, their health and well-being, um, their journey. The art uh, form that I thought would be a good mix was uh, Weechel art, which is a yarn art because it's very, very therapeutic, you know, combining different colors, you know, weaving stories like we weave um, threads. One month is uh, my cat, it's just like uh, my son. Mom, mom, no meow, only mom. With this group, this woman's voice, we explore the theme of identity from different perspectives and the woman shared different memories, memories from their holidays, memories from activities they like to do, some hobbies, and from that they made masks with wool that represented all these stories. We got wonderful feedback from our participants. Actually, most of them said that they felt more confident, they felt more relaxed. Uh, two of our participants said they have never laughed so much, they have never smiled so much. It is so good to know that we were successful in creating a safe place for our participants where they came and they relaxed and they were able to share their stories. The storytelling has been a revelation for everyone. Everyone has really enjoyed it. It has been something completely different. I feel sometimes they were acting out certain things in their own life and I felt that there was a bit of therapy. They love getting involved. They, they love the individual activities beforehand to get them warmed up. And they absolutely adored dressing up. You know, they just thought this was absolutely amazing. New friendships were forged. People who'd maybe not interact normally with people would be going back to the flats. They would be practicing, you know, recording the stories, you know, helping to write the stories. and. It was really amazing to see some of the skills that they were actually picking up. They never had their own voice recorded before. They'd never contributed to writing. So they, I feel that there's like a sense of, a real sense of achievement. When I ask the group, what did they learn from this workshop? They said that it was challenging doing the mask and also being recorded. But they also shared very nice things about the process, how did they learn to trust in the group with their stories, how they learned to learn from each other, and also they said that they learned how everyone has a story to tell. <laughs>